You recently obtained a perfectly serviceable $500 pistol, trusted and reliable. However, you are an aspiring thriver and are easily swayed by the Gucci life that Instagram operators shill for. So, you convince your dumb self that spending $2,000 on modifications to get your $500 gun to shoot as good as a $700 gun is a smart investment. Plastic sights on a combat handgun is bullshit. Glock should be ashamed to still sell this crap, but all you zealots eat it up. Ignorance is bliss. Dead ringer's snake eyes are true innovation in the 2A world. This side picture tells us to focus on what is most important, the rear side. Shout out to all the assmen out there. Most people cannot see in the dark, so get yourself a cheap Chinese light that seemingly every internet operator endorses. Because the Alight PL Mini was just on sale and was given to basically every reviewer to push their own discount code is definitely just as good as your Surefire. Get the fuck out of here, rely on technology that clearly was not designed for the platform at the time of its inception by installing an RMR Type 1. The random flickering provides extra challenge to operators who find shooting with irons too plebeian. RMR is not a generic term for any red dot side. Spend hundreds on cosmetics but cheap out and buy a $200 red dot. I expect nothing less from the good people from Glock Nation. Getting your slide milled can add extra functionality your pistol did not come stock with, such as providing front slide serrations for tacti tarred press checks. It is also a necessary for a ported barrel. However, the best advantage is literally just to flex on the pores with an overpriced letter. A. Milled into your slide. Are you a soy boy and have a weak grip? Do you want to pay someone to just fuck your shit up? Then stippling is for you. It also allows you to turn your factory grip into a beautiful puckered butthole. You sick pervert. You are attracted to pretty colors black and gold for the most clout tin coating is relatively affordable but throwing money away at a company that deems itself tactical makes the flex even harder plus losing a thumb from an exploding barrel is akin to yakuza yobitsum a slick third party trigger that reduces the travel hole weight and reset can make you shoot faster than ever nothing can go wrong carrying a hair trigger in a custom holster nothing. Due to the rise of the modern high thumbs forward grip many people are discovering that their slide does no longer lock open on the last round as you guessed it, there is a product to remedy it. Block perfection. While we're on the topic of mags, why not gave that shit wide open to avoid virgin reloads? Fucking, no. Comp stands for compensator, a device that screws onto your barrel to direct gases to help mitigate recoil. It also stands for compromised reliability. Nice. nice. Cerakotet. This is when you pay someone a lot of money to spray paint Punisher skulls on your gun. How else is anyone going to believe you are a true sheepdog if you do not have skull tattoos? Some guns come with a wide gaping asshole. Thoughts be gone. With a new backplate, you can prevent unwanted debris from going into your no-go zone. But I poop from there. <laughs> but still let others know you are down to clown by repping Malone Labia when you want this but end up with all of these innovations instead. Flex, 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 flex. flex.